Hey guys, Walter right here. Welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. We are once again starting from the pause menu because it ended up making me redo when we found out the secret lair existed and we had to go through all that stuff again. But in the last episode, we managed to find out that Cassie Rose does not have a portrait for her, did not have an XR portrait for, her, portrait for herself. And there's cats everywhere in the White Pumpkin secret lair, so we are suspecting it's Cassie Rose, which is the Mike, what, Mike? Which is most likely who the White Pumpkin is, so let's go ahead and continue. I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? We found the White Pumpkin's lair right beneath us. What? Really? Yeah. Very interesting. Cassie? No sign of Cassie, but... Ah! Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? The White Pumpkin is Cassie Rose. Ah! She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? Oh, yeah. There's something Plenty. that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Torque Dog's picture was somehow crossed that, out. That doesn't prove anything. Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh, there I was no Jesse's portrait for Cassie. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre exed out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. You're doing great, Jesse. Now go in for the kill. Metaphorically. But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Black. Cats? Really? Black, white, and orange. Winslow is black? White and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Knew it. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know, I was shocked too. But what did any of us ever do to you? Directly? Nothing. But you idiots had the one thing that I most desperately needed. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Not an excuse. Cookies! You really think that's an excuse? You're pathetic, Cassie. It doesn't excuse all the horrible things you've done. Spoken just like a person who has no idea what it feels like to be stuck somewhere you don't belong. We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 no. I won't let you do that. I can't. No! This is your fault! You did this to me! I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! Oh! Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves dig. this! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. 
I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. That was ironic. That, wow. The trap were taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. Well, bye-bye, Cassie. Yeah, well, she died. I don't really care for her, though. Yeah, I, I didn't really care for her, honestly. Oh, I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is, yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. As we stopped her. I'm just glad we stopped Cassie. That is true. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Oh, it's right there. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence. So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. Hey, whoever keeps it, just make sure you're careful with it, okay? Yes. The ability to jump between worlds is not something to take lightly. After all this craziness, I might be done chasing flints and steels and portals anyway. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. Bye, Dan. Bye, Stacy. Bye! What a goodbye, strange, Steve. strange bunch of individuals. Got like a Stanley running. Cassie, what's her name, was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? I really Little keys, that. other worlds. Uh, no, no, I guess. No, I think she's just another traveler like us. I feel like an old builder would have more of a special vibe. I guess that's true. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? I didn't... Huh? It's not working? That's weird. Is that a fake? Yeah, it's a trap. That's strange. I thought oh! it was a trap. <laughs> well, another trap. Fantastic. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world! Come on, Cassie! Just let us go, and we can go our separate ways! After everything you've done to me? No. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. 
I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. free okay, first. you're right, you win. We'll give you the flint and steel, but let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever. <gasps> when shall my pet activate the trap? So Want something done right, Anton? Prepare for your death! So creepy. <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow. Stupid door? Oh, that's no use! Without a lever or button, we'll never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm going to get up to the control panel. Oh, that is disorienting. Uh, just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Time to get to the leverage. Give me a key, Jesse. No. No. Skip it. Guys, no. No! Hey, Jesse. Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast runner, are you? I go tired of this game. Even Jesse. Okay, you didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No, we are going home. Thank you. 
She wanted us to end up trapped in my own trap. <laughs> of course. Of course. You got what you deserve, Cassie. You've been ruthless and selfish and mean, and this is where it gets you. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best, my only friend. Wow, we don't want him anyway. Take him. Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Exactly. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to master. Oh, there you are. There you are. You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together forever. Just me and my little Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Light it. Hey, it worked. Good side so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Yay. Adventure! What's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom! I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is gonna be an amazing adventure. Okay, thanks, Sparkles. Okay, well that was the end of episode 6 of Portal to Mystery, guys. Well, what an interesting episode. Murder Mystery, uh... We met Ellie, Shadow Lady, Captain Sparkles, Dan TDM, Stampy Cat, Stacy Plays, Lizzie died, Sparkles died, and yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. We'll be, we will be back with the next episode, episode 7 of Minecraft Story Mode in the next video. And we'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.